Hello everyone, welcome back to PE Academy. So, so far we've been looking at mesh analysis. So, we've looked at three examples and this is example four. So, if you are new here and you've missed the previous examples, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this particular video. And if you are yet to subscribe to PE Academy and you enjoy seeing content under electrical engineering, electronics engineering and engineering drawing, do make sure you click on that subscribe button at the lower right of your screen. So, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and let me know in the comment section if you have just subscribed. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just subscribed to the channel and say welcome to PE Academy. Alright, so this is example 4 and this is the circuit we are going to be solving. Look at the question that is attached to it. It says, find the value of V if the current in the 3 ohm resistor is equal to 0. Now, this is V, the voltage source. We have two voltage sources. We have 5 volts here and we have another voltage source here. But the voltage source here is unknown and that's what we are asked to, to find. The question also gave us another information that the current through this 3 ohm resistor is what? Is zero. He said, find the value of V if the current in the 3 ohm resistor, this is the 3 ohm resistor right here, is equals to zero. So now let's solve this. So we are still going to be using uh, mesh analysis. And I, like I said, if you are dealing with mesh analysis, one of the concepts to use is the catch of voltage law. So you are also going to apply all of the principles I've discussed at the introduction of mesh analysis on how to answer questions under mesh analysis. So the first thing is for us to identify the, uh, what's it called, the nodes. So these are the nodes, and by the way, if you are not clear what nodes is, or the diff you want to know more about the difference between a node, branch, loops, element, and all of those things, I've done a video about it. You can check the description, and then you'll find a link to that video. So let's call this A, B, C, let's call this node D, let's call this point E, F, let's call this G, and then H. So. I haven't done that. Now let's take our direction. You no, know, we have from this circuit we already have um, three meshes. We have three meshes. This is one, two, and then three. So now let's pick the direction of our current. So, I, like I said, I do like to start with a clockwise direction. So let's take our current to be flowing in a clockwise direction for this mesh one. So this is mesh one. So this is my mesh one, and then the current. Let's take the current here to be I one. So this is for mesh two. So let's take the current here to be I two. And this is mesh 3. Let's take the current to be I3. So this is mesh 3. So let me just write M3 because of space. All right, so now that we've taken the position of our, um, the direction of our current, so let's go ahead and add the polarities. So starting with the voltage source, here is going to be positive and negative. Don't forget the longer side is positive. So this is also positive, then negative. So now with mesh 1, let's go ahead to add um, the polarities to the resistors, so this is going to be plus and minus in this direction, this is going to be plus and minus. So now let's go to that of uh, mesh 2 for current 2, this is going to be plus, minus, this is going to be plus, minus, plus and minus. So for the mesh 3, plus, minus, and then plus, minus. So if you have been following, I, I want to believe you won't have problem with adding polarities to circuits under mesh analysis. Alright, so you can also, if you have been following this video, if you've watched the last three examples, you can test your knowledge on uh, on mesh analysis by pausing this video and attempting the question. And let me know in the comment section if you're able to arrive at the uh, final answer, so when I'm done solving it. Alright, so now that we've done that, so the next thing is to apply a uh, catch-up voltage law to each of, this, uh, each of this mesh. So to start with, so we are going to be starting with mesh 1. So that's going to be mesh 1. And the part for mesh 1 is A. B that's A B G H and back to A A B G H and back to A. All right. So in applying um, catch off um, voltage loss, so let's start from point A. So for this one ohm resistor, so from plus to minus, that's going to be minus one ohm multiplied by the current I one. So that's going to be one I one. But we can also indicate it as I one. So now let's continue. So between B and G, we have a 2 ohm resistor. So from positive to negative, and through because of the current of I1, that is going to be minus 2 I1. We also have um, another current I2 flowing through it. But in this direction, we are still taking this clockwise direction for current I1. This is going to be plus to minus. I mean, minus to plus. That is going to be plus 2. But we are taking the current from I2. I2. I hope that is clear. From G to H, there's nothing here. Then from H to back to A, we have a voltage source from that is from minus to plus. That's going to be plus five equals to zero. Now, if you have to simplify this, now before we simplify this, let's look at this 
uh, that is given here. So I find the value of V if the current in the 3 ohm resistor, we are told that the current in the 3 ohm resistor, look at this, that it is equals to zero. You have to pay attention to that. What it basically means is that, now you see this 3 ohm resistor, they said the current that is passing through it is what? Is zero. And if you, this same 3 ohm resistor is independent, that means the only current that is passing through it is I2. Are we following? If you have followed the previous example, you, get, you, have, you should have full understanding of what I'm saying. The only current that is passing through I, I mean through the 3 ohm resistor is I2. And we are told that the current that is passing through it is already zero. So what that means is that, you can just notice somewhere that, what that simply means is that our I2 is equals to zero. That is what it means. That the value for our I2 is zero. So with the knowledge of that, so anywhere we are solving in each of this mesh, if you come across I2, we will take the value to be is zero. So now let's apply that here. So in simplifying this, we have minus I1 and minus 2I1. So that is going to give us minus 3I1. Now remember then plus 2. I2, we know that it is zero into bracket zero plus 5 equals to zero. So we are going to be having minus 3I1. So 2 multiplied by 0, that's 0. Then pl uh, plus 5. So this plus 5, if you take it to the other side of the equals to sign, we are going to be having minus 5. So what we'll do now is we are going to divide both sides by minus 3. So divide both sides by minus 3. So we are going to be having minus 3i1 is equals to minus 5. So if you divide both sides by minus 3 and minus 3 so this is going to be cancel this out so you are going to be left with i1 is equals to so this is all, this negative is going to cancel out so 5 divided by 3 if you uh, type that in your calculator you'll be getting 1.667 and then don't forget your units amperes so that means the value of uh, i1 is 1.667 amperes but we have not done yet that's not the final answer that's just what we are able to get after simplifying mesh one. So now let's go to mesh two. So for mesh two, so the path for mesh two is B, C, F, G, and back to B. So let's indicate it. That's B, C, F, G, and back to B. So applying uh, catch off uh, voltage law to mesh two. So taking it from point B. So the first element we are having here is this. Um, 3 ohm resistor so we are going to be having from positive to negative that is going to be minus 3 I2 so moving forward you come here from positive to negative for this 4 ohm resistor with current of I2 that is going to be minus 4 I2 then also from ne um, negative to positive because of the current of I3 that is going to be plus 4i3 so from f to g there's nothing here and then from g to b so the first we're having from positive to negative i uh, the resistor here i uh, 2 ohms due to i uh, i2 that is going to be minus 2 i2 so we also have a negative to positive due to i1 that will be plus 2 i1 equals to 0 all right so let's continue so let's first of all simplify this. We're having, um, all right, we're having 2i1. So let me just arrange it in order of the current. So 2i1, then we also have a minus 3i2, minus 4i2, and then minus 2i2. That's going to give us uh, 4 plus 3, that's 7. That's going to be minus 9i2 plus 4i3 is equals to 0. So we just simplify this into this. So don't forget, our I2 is 0. So that is going to give us 2I1 minus 9 into bracket 0 plus 4I3 is equals to 0. So we are going to be having 2I1. So this is automatically cancel out. Minus 9 times 0, that's 0. Plus 4I3 is equals to 0. Now, with what we are having here, we should now recall that I1, okay, let me just use um, use my red pen to write that. So, 
So recall that I1 I1, we've got our I1 to be 1.667 amperes. Don't forget, after simplify, uh, solving mesh, uh, the mesh 1, we arrived at our I1 is 1.667 amperes. So what we are going to do is, we are going to substitute the value of I1 into this equation, into where we are having I1, we are going to replace it with 1.667. So in doing that, we are going to be having 2 into brackets, 1.667 plus 4 I3 equals to equals to zero. All right, so because of space, I'll have to rub this up. So if you are writing it down, you can just write this down or you screenshot it on your device so that we can have more space to continue with um, mesh two. All right, so let's continue. You know, remember after solving mesh one, we are we are able to get I one is one point six six seven. So I still have this information here because it's still very helpful. So now, if you should simplify this, now we are having two multiplied by one point six six seven. So if you type that in your calculator, that should give you three point three three four. So we are going to be having them plus four I three equals to zero. So what we are having here, let me bring it here. So this is three point three three four plus 4i3 equals to 0. So now if you try to make uh, i3 the subject formula, we are going to be having 4i3 equals to 9. If this 3.334 should come to the other side of the equals to sign, we are going to be having minus 3.334. So what we do here now is divide both sides by, uh, by 4. So So divide both sides by 4. So in doing that, we are going to be having 4i3 divided by 4 is equals to minus 3.334 divided by 4. So this 4 can cancel out this 4. So what will be left is, which is i3 is equals to, so minus 3.334 divided by 4. So that will give us minus 0.8335. Amperes. Don't forget your units. So in simplifying mesh two, this is what we, we are having. So we have gotten our uh, the value of our I three. So let me also write it somewhere here. So we've gotten our value of I three to be minus zero point eight three three five amperes. So that is it from uh, now let's go ahead and do that of uh, mesh 3 so i need to rub this up so that i can uh, simplify mesh 3 in this space so you can also take notes all right so i've indicated the value for from the mesh one we're able to arrive at i1 in simplify mesh 2 we're able to get the value for i3 so now let's go to mesh 3 so mesh 3 now the path for mesh 3 is c d e f c d e f and then back to c now don't forget what you are trying to get you are trying to get the value of v here we are trying to get the value of v here so now in simplifying mesh 3 so applying catch up voltage let's start from c from, uh, from c to d we have one element which is the 5 5 ohm resistor so from positive to negative that is going to be minus 5 i3 so from D to E, we have a voltage source, and this is what we are looking for, but we don't know the value. But so that's from positive to negative, that's going to be minus V. So let's continue from E to F, there's nothing here. From F to C, we are having a 4 ohm resistor. So from positive to negative, that's going to be minus 4, and then the current is I3. Also, we also have been taking it from positive to negative uh, due to the current I2. So that's going to be plus 4. I2 and then back to C equals to zero. So now let's simplify this. So that is going to be giving us minus four, I mean minus five I3 and then minus four I3. That's going to give us minus nine I3. And then we're also having um, plus four I2. Now this minus V, we can take it to the other side of the equals to sign. So that will become V. No, 
by the time it takes you to the other side, it becomes positive. So now let's simplify this. Now remember that I2 is a zero. Don't forget from the question, I2 is, is zero. It was not stated, but if you analyze it in your circuit, you know that I2 is a zero. So now let's substitute that. So you are going to be having minus nine I3 plus four into bracket zero as equals to V. So this is zero. So in solving this, that means we are having minus nine I3 is equals to V. So you can also write it like this as V is equals to minus nine I3. Are we following? So that means our V is equals to now. Remember that I3, we've gotten the value of I3 to be minus 0 0.8335 amperes. So we can we'll substitute the value of V into this equation. So let me write it. So substitute the value of I3 into the above equation. Now, so in doing that, we are going to be having V is equals to minus 9 times minus 0 0.8335. So if you multiply this my, uh, minus 9 times minus 0 0.8335, we are going to get our V to be 7.50 amperes. And with that, we've been able to find the value of V. We just find the value of V that is if, that in this current when the three ohm resistor and when the current that is flowing through the three ohm resistor is um, is a zero. So this is the voltage that will be here. So before we go to example five, uh, I believe you find value in this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe to PE Academy, please do so. Click on the subscribe button. It's all at the lower right of your screen. It's absolutely free to subscribe. Then you can also check out our website, paacademy.co. PA Academy. Co. So if you have any questions with this um, example or any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. I reply to all to all comments. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in example 5. And before we go at the beginning, I said you should attempt the question before I solve it. So if you attempt the question and you're able to arrive at v, your V is 7.50 ampere. Uh, sorry. Sorry, we are dealing with votes. So it should be 7.50 volts not amperes, volts. All right, it's good that I was able to get that on time. So it's volts, so always pay attention to your unit. Always make sure you indicate your unit and your unit is right. So that's 7.50 volts because we are looking for the value of V. All right, so if you are able to arrive at the answer, you know, before I, before watching the, the video to the end, do let me know in the comment section. And if you are not, let me know where you get stuck and then we can interact in the comment section. All right, so thank you very much and I'll see you all in example five.